Like, if he isn't a crazed psychopath, like, who is? Everybody's now starting to get berries. The way they get berries, apparently, is they milk mushrooms. Yeah, I used to be a grave robber. <laughs> then I came to this village to start a new life. So, let's crank you up to about the same. About so there we go. <laughs> kill, kill, maim, destroy. No, no, must control. Must control self, must build house. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to a brand new game, Foundation. Now, um, I originally put out the, uh, the Kickstarter trailer on my channel for this game, uh, and I was kind of eagerly awaiting it. And uh, they released it uh, about, um, I don't know, about a week ago to the, um, to the, to the people who pledged to, to their Kickstarter. Now, when I first looked at this, I'm going to be completely honest. When, when I first looked at this, I, well, you know, I'm just going to be straight. I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. Um, the whole, like, the UI put me off, and there were various things about the look of the game, and how it played, and whatever. Um, and seriously, I, I only played it for, like, 15, maybe 15 minutes or whatever, and I was like, nah, I don't like this. And I forced myself to go back and play it. And, and after a while, after I found out some of the cooler things that you will see, um, I, started to, I started to really like it. <laughs> it's, um, uh, so, you know what? Let's dive in. Let me tell you about it. Let me show you. So, stick around, because if you look at it right now and you go kind of, yeah, I'm not really impressed with the look of this. And the, the U, I'm assuming the UI is a placeholder. I've, they've got to replace this UI, because the UI, the UI is really not very nice. But you'll see that there are actually some quite cool things in this game. So, let's, um, let's jump in. So, um, we get started, and um, the game tells us, to build a village center. So we go up here to the, uh, to the build menu and village center. Now, you, um, you have these, um, these hexagons uh, and as the game goes on, you can buy extra hexagons. So, so for, for example, if I bring up, um, where is it? Where is it? Territory, here we go. You can buy these. We need 500 gold to buy another hexagon. So, uh, and at the moment, we haven't got anything. So. I need to get on and get on and start building. So village center. Let's get a village center put in. Now, eventually, I want to kind of have the village spreading down here. So I'm going to put the village center in kind of over here. There we go. And that completes the quest and unlocks seven new buildings: the woodcutter camp, the gathering camp, the marketing, uh, the, the gathering market, the stonecutter camp, the sawmill, the well, and the warehouse. The lord's manor is still locked. We need uh, we need twelve people, and at the moment. We've only got eight, so we need to encourage four more people to come to our village. And I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a bit. So, here are our little people. Now, I'll talk to you about, because <laughs> I will talk, you know what, I'm going to talk to you about it now. Because they look like a bunch of crazed psychopaths, especially this one. I've nicknamed this guy, Carlos. He, like, if he isn't a crazed psychopath, like, who is? I want him to be a woodcutter, because, like, put an axe in his hand. And you've got a definitely an axe-wielding psychopath. He is freakily, crazily scary. This guy's not much better. Yeah, I used to be a grave robber. <laughs> then I came to this village to start a new life. <laughs> I love this. All right, so let's get going. Um, so we've got all these all these buildings to, to build now. Um, like, like, what do we have to do? Well, we've got to keep these people happy. That's the first thing you have to understand. And they've got needs. Even psychopaths have needs. Um, they need food, which is initially going to be in the form of berries. And they need water. And they need somewhere to live. Now, you may look at this, as I did, and think, oh, you know, this is like, this is so basic. And it, th this is the thing. Later on, these needs expand, as you will see. So this is why I'm saying stick around. There's a lot more to this game than meets the eye initially. So what are we going to do? We can assign them jobs. So, um... Well, actually, you know what? Let me maybe bring up... This is another thing with the UI. Like, the UI is kind of a bit of a mess. It's like, you've got stuff up here. You've got stuff up here. Like, this is the resource panel. Right, so the resource panel is there, right? But if you want to see the villagers, the villagers is down here. Where's the village? Here's the villager list, right? Uh, it, yeah, UI is a mess. Forget about the UI. This is very, very, very early alpha. I'm sure all of this is going to change. I, I mean, seriously, it's got to change. So... Um, so let's get to, let's get these people assigned. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off by telling them all to be builders. Because we're going to be building a bunch of stuff. So uh, you could be a builder. And you could be a builder. And you could be a builder. Now, again, you might go, oh my god, seriously, you've got to click through each one and assign them jobs and whatever. No, I'll show you. 
once we start getting some buildings built, um, it changes. So, it's cool, isn't it? Are you intrigued? I hope you're intrigued. Stick, seriously, stick around, because you, you, you may change your initial views. So, let's get a woodcutter camp going. We're going to have a woodcutter camp, and um, we're going to stick this up in the trees, oh, kind of obviously. So we'll put, we'll put the woodcutter camp up there. There we go. And then we want uh, a gathering camp, so that we can gather food. Now you can spin the buildings around, um, there's, there's no grid or anything, that's one of the big selling points, it's not like banished. Um, we'll, put this, we'll put this up here next to, next to these. Now, <laughs> this is, they gather berries, right, and they eat berries, but for some reason, the, it, it's mushrooms. So they get berries from mushrooms, don't ask me why, Do, seriously, don't ask me why. Um, right, so uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, so we've got the gathering going. We need uh, we need a gathering market. Now, the gathering market, this is where they sell what they've gathered, right? So when they, when they go and gather berries, they don't just eat them. They sell them, and I'll talk to you about that in a second because that's kind of the economy of the game. So we'll put the market. This is the, this is the village center. I'm going to put the market kind of on the outskirts of the village center. So this is, this is going to be our sort of market square, or market circle in this case. And then, now, um, the three things they need. Food. Okay, well, we've, we've started getting the food going. So, you know what, we'll, if I can click on it, there we go. Uh, we'll prioritise that. And I, I like that. That's one that, like, prioritisation in this is nice and easy. It's just like, click on the building, prioritise it. And then, uh, we, the other thing that they need is water. So we need to get a well. And this is something that the, the first time I tried to play this, it was like they got unhappy very, very quickly. If you don't provide what they need, they do get very stroppy, this lot. So let's get, let's get a well in. And I'm going to put the well, I'm going to put the well in, in the center. Now, you, there's a bunch of boxes and things here, which is your initial supplies, but they'll get used up. And I want the well in the center, because I think the well looks good in the center. So I'm going to put the well there. There we go. And you can see there's a bunch of stone blocks there now. Which kind of marks it, right? So, um, so we've got a uh, we've got a well. Now we want a sawmill because we want to turn this wood into planks. Okay, so I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this up here nearby the wood because that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, whoops. Let's let's just turn you. I, I, yeah, I think I want it kind of that way. Yeah, that way. I don't want to take out that tree though. So let's get you. Let's put you in like there. There we go. Excellent. So that's that. I can get rid of those for these. Get rid of Rudolph for a bit. So, um, so we've got a sawmill going on. Uh, the well. I must remember to prioritise the well. That's kind of that's Pierre. Let me see if I can actually click on the well. There we go. Let's prioritise the well. Food and water very important. The other thing is houses. So that they need somewhere to live. And we'll talk about that in a minute because that's kind of another thing that's very different about this game than Banished. Um, the warehouse, we'll wait for the warehouse, we don't need a warehouse right now. Uh, but we do need one last thing, which is a stone cutter. And there's a patch of stone up here. Now these resources don't disappear, well, stone and berries don't disappear. Uh, let's have this kind of, let's kind of have it like that, I think. That kind of looks nice. Um, but the trees do, and we need to get, uh, we need to get to replanting trees, and we'll get to that. Now this is where I think this game gets very different from Banished. If we go to paint development zones, right, when you, when you want houses in Banished, you, you place the houses that you want. In this, you don't. You just tell them where they can build houses, and they build them themselves, and the town grows organically, so it's very different. Um, so what I'm going to do initially, uh, I'm going to choose extraction zones. Now obviously, we need an extraction zone covering the food, so that they can grab the food. We need an extraction zone covering the stone, right? And then I'm going to say, you know what? The, the first thing I want you to do is get rid of these trees down here, right? So our woodcutters, the only place that they can get wood is down here. So they'll clear these trees first. And then I'm going to tell them, now there's a, there's a whole, it shows you the desirability, like where they would like to live. And right now they want to live close to the town center. And when we build some of the, um, some of the more advanced buildings later, like churches and the Lord's Manor and stuff like that. They'll want to kind of live in, in those places. Those kind of places will become attractive and desirable. And also we can put in decorations and stuff. So right now, I'm just going to say, you can build your houses in this, in this area. 
So I don't want them building on top of trees and, and removing the trees. Oops. And it's right mouse to remove an area. There we go. So, so that's that. Um, we, can, we can let them let them get on now and go and build stuff. So I've prioritised the well, haven't I? Yeah, I prioritised the well. I remember. Yep, and see, they've got straight on with building the well. We prioritised uh, the food. The other thing that I'm going to prioritise is the stone. Now, we don't start off with any stone. So we need stone ASAP. So I'm going to prioritise the stone cutter so we can get some stone. Because we need some stone to get the well, well built. We need uh, ten wood, which they've got. And we need five stone, which they haven't got. So this will get to a certain point and then it will just like stop. Now, um, you know, I, I probably should have said, um, don't build the, um, the, the sawmill yet. Uh, let's prioritise. Oh, the woodcutter, oh, now, the woodcutter camp's already built. My God, they cracked on with that. The woodcutter camp is already built, so we can start assigning people to that. Now, if you haven't assigned them jobs already, you can just click on this, and it will just assign people who haven't got a job. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to say we're going to have you can be... A woodcutter and you can be a woodcutter so I'm gonna have two woodcutters bringing in the wood alrighty so off we go let's keep it oh keep it going so uh, now the gatherers camp is also completed so we want a couple of gatherers so let's get um, you assigned as a gatherer and we'll have you assigned as a gatherer now that's gonna start bringing in berries oh look at this you've got a new quest unlock a trade route um, we'll talk about trade routes subsequently because um, first thing to do is get like get like everybody happy meeting their needs how's Carlos the psychopath doing <laughs> kill kill maim destroy no no must control must control self must build house <laughs> I love him I love him he's not Richard yeah he's Carlos to me um, so right so we've got this and look now here's another Carlos there's one Carlos over here there's another Carlos over here they put on these um, these silly gathering hats. This this means that you're authorised. You're licensed to collect berries. So they wander up here. Now, <laughs> when I spotted this, I thought this was just so funny. So, look. The way they get berries, apparently, is they milk mushrooms. And if that just doesn't look so wrong on so many levels with the two of them doing it, like, yeah. I don't know whether that means that there's going to be cows in the game at some point and that anim animation is going to be used for cows. I don't know, but it's very weird. So they milk mushrooms and they get berries. And let's talk about happiness for a second. Pause. So we've got two new villagers joining the village. Now, if I click on this, they, they start off. Well, they're, they're out here. Um, and this is like the edge of the map. And I can't see them because they're, they're buried in the trees. But if I... If I let this run on, you'll see that they walk through here. Here we go. Oh, is it a couple of Carlos's? I think it's a couple of Carlos. Yes. No. Yeah. Uh, no. It's the it's the a couple of grave robbers. And you can just imagine talking to each other as they walk. Up. Why are you walking so close to me? I'm not walking close to you. Yeah, you are. You walk it. I feel your breath on the back of my neck. Well, it's just how I walk. And the other thing, look at the grass. As they walk along, you can see that they wear a path in the grass. Quite quickly, it's like, like two people passing over it will start to leave a path. You can see. I'll, I'll move over. Zoom in. You can see how they, they wear the grass away quite, quite quickly. So anyway, those two guys are going to come to our village. Now, they only come, people only come to our village if the global happiness is high enough. Let me pause for a second while I talk to you about this. So, um, the global happiness is just an accumulation of the happiness of everybody, right? And if we, if we mouse over, you can see our global happiness is 60%. Everybody has a, a base happy, happiness of, um, of 100% to start. And then, as they don't fill their requirements, they get, start getting unhappy. So, we've got 20, we get minus 20 because they haven't had berries, and minus 20 because the, the, there are people who haven't had any water. And if we like, click through, you'll see, right, I haven't had any berries. I haven't any water. I do have lodgings. 
and over here yeah I haven't had any berries haven't had any water now the reason for that is they can't get berries at the moment because we haven't got anybody assigned to actually selling food um, and the well isn't isn't getting built because I haven't got anybody assigned to the stone cutter camp so let's get that done so let's get a stone cutter going in there um, I might actually get I think I'm gonna have two stone cutters so let's have two stone cutters and then Actually, I don't know whether I can afford two stone cutters now. I, those two guys will be added to the list when they actually get here. Um, I want to have to... Yeah, go on. Oh, Pierre, Pierre's going to have to be a, um, a market tender. So he's going to sell stuff in the market. So now we're going to be getting stone. And we're going to be able to sell the berries that, are, that will be in the market. So let's crank this up and see what happens. And I'm going to crank it up a little bit. Run it on two times speed. You can crank it up to five times speed. But two times speed I think will do for now. I was gonna do I was gonna do just like a first look video, but the more I played with the game, right, there is it, like it's really worth showing off and starting to get into the mine. Oh, and you can see they're starting to bring stuff down to the market now. Oh look! And the market started selling berries. Hooray! And each berry is sold or each lot of berries is sold for 10 gold. So now let's take a look at the budget. Now the budget is here. And I'll put the budget down like in this corner, I suppose. So um, the the buildings have upkeep costs, right? Or certain buildings have upkeep costs. So our upkeep at the moment is 12 gold. And then villager consumption, you can see, because we're selling the the berries to them at 10, 10 a piece. Oh, now pause. Because I've got to, I've got to deal with this. Um, yeah, so we're selling berries, so we're making a nice profit at the moment. We're making a profit of um, 88, in actual fact, and hopefully that's going to keep going up. Now, we, to complete our first quest, we need to be making a profit of 500 a week, which is like quite a lot. Um, and we started off with 500 gold. We're already down to 258, so we need to get back up to at least 500, so that we can start um, buying other territories. Um, now, I have noticed that sometimes you can buy them for free. Which I'm guessing is probably a bug, which I was <laughs> quite happy to exploit. But um, now we'll wait, we'll wait, and we'll, 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 we'll do it properly, I suppose. So, let's keep going. Um, so, the woodcutter um, could not find uh, any resources in, the, in, his, in any of the extraction zones to extract. So, uh, if we go to the extraction... Right, so there aren't any trees. That one's obviously on the line, so it's outside of the extraction zone. So what I can do is um, I can say, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take that out. Uh, I want you now to extract the trees from this area. Now, I could have just put in an extraction up area up here and not worried about it, but I want to like, get the most out of these uh, resources. So I can say, okay, you know what, um, get rid of that tree and that tree as well. Yeah, let's do that. So, off we go. And that warning message disappears. Alrighty. We're kind of sort of getting there. So now, if we have a look. Now we've got two people without jobs. I need to give them jobs. If we have a look at this. Oh, look. We're getting berries. Hooray. We're happy. We're happy because we've got berries. We're happy because we've got lodgings. But we've got no water still. Because we need the stone to the well. They're waiting for a builder. Even though this is prioritised. So you know what? Stephen... Um, let's assign you as a builder and let's assign Friedrich as a builder as well right so let's speed this up to two times and we'll see if anybody starts building now I would my, my guess is we're waiting on stone yeah um, yeah we haven't got any stone at the moment we're still waiting for the this to get built oh and there it goes it gets built hooray and now Dominique can start producing stone, which would be excellent. And what I might do is, um, is say, you know what? Let's get let's get Rose working there as well. Uh, so Rose, you can come be a stone cutter as well. Start churning out the stone. All right, cool. So as soon as they get that, now our happiness is down to sixty-nine. Everybody's now starting to get berries. We're hovering around the the minus minus four five percent. Um, but if we're up at like minus 32% now. Who haven't had water recently. So we really need, do need to get this mine. Oh, look, here we go. Richard is bringing a stone. 
Richard's Carlos, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Animal from the Muppets? Where is he? He's over here. Slow it down a bit. Reminds me of Animal from the Muppets. That's not Richard, is it? Where's Richard? I can't see him now. Oh, there it. I think that is that. Animal from the Muppets? Yeah? No? Maybe? I think so. Right. So having got a bit of stone coming in now, should be able to get this well built. We're up to two. Let's crank it up. Three stone. Stephen's bringing some more stone along. They are now starting to build their own houses down here. So if we, if we click on these. Although it, you've got to find the right spot to click on. In fact, I, oh, there you go, house details. So we need 10 wood for each house. And the well has finally been built. Hooray. So now people will be able to uh, come down here, get some water. Oh, there we go. So if we look into film minus. And now, yes, she's had a drink of water and she's very happy. And these people, are you coming down for a drink of water? I think you probably are. Yes, you are. And now if we go up to happiness. Oh, look, two new villagers are joining your village. So look has lacked water recently. So 32, is that we're gonna start seeing that going down? We should start to see that go down now. Woodcutter, okay, so the woodcutter's finished off all the stuff. Pause, let's, uh, let's, so let's change the extraction zones now. So what do I want? I want, I'm gonna take out, uh, I'm gonna take out this extraction zone here. Now extraction zones make make residential less desirable because obviously you don't want to live next to a place where they're blooming harvesting trees all the time or, or cutting down stone so whoops i want to do right click there we go get rid of that so now i'm going to put in the the proper tree area which is going to be like up on this mountainside would be good so let's have this area is going to be our tree harvesting area. There we go. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, and then you can uh, pencil in forbidden land where they're not allowed to build. But at the moment, no need for that. So let's get all of that filled in. So they can build houses anywhere in there that they like. Cool. And these are, these areas can overlap, by the way, if you uh, if you really want them to. Okay, what are we up to? We're up to uh, 422. Uh, where's our budget? Let's bring up our budget. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, last week, we made uh, 212. This week, we're already making 60. So, let's carry on. They're starting to work on the sawmill now. Now, trade routes. Let's talk about trade routes for a second. Let me bring up trade routes. We've got na two neighbouring cities, Davenport and Northbury. And we... We can trade with these guys. They are selling tools for 30 gold. They're selling bread for 50. And they're selling marble for 100 gold. They will buy berries for 2 gold. They'll buy stone for 2 gold. And they'll buy planks for 10. Right. So selling planks would obviously be a good thing. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got a fair amount of berries coming in. So we're on top of that. That's good. Um, not a ton of wood. So I think we need to get more wood going on. Now, we're starting to get more, more villagers. We've got two villagers, haven't got a job. So what I can do, I can go up to the, uh, to the wood camp and I can say, assign a villager, and boom, we get, get a villager put in there. Hooray. So that's how that works. So now we want to try and hopefully stay on top of the wood situation. Uh, and we're going to need a fair amount of wood because we're going to start turning it into planks, which hopefully we'll get enough of that we can actually start selling. Now, um, okay, so we've got the sawmill now. So what we need now is a carpenter. So we'll assign you, and John has now been assigned as a carpenter, and he's gonna start turning logs into planks. Woohoo! So what do we need planks for? Well, for more advanced buildings. Now, a villager has now decided to upgrade his house, which is probably, yeah, um, Yes, house is upgrading. Hooray. And what does he need to upgrade his house? Yes, you've guessed it, planks. 
So that's where our planks are going to be going initially into uh, upgrading houses. But they are needed for other advanced buildings. Oh, we've completed it at the house. Now, you'll notice that whilst these models are like relatively simplistic and a bit cartoony, and, and I mean, not everybody is going to like them. Um, when I first saw them, I didn't like them. But you know what? The more time you spend in the village, you start to spot more little details. And I actually kind of like it. And some of the more advanced buildings, that's where I think you're going to be impressed. So we'll, we'll get to that soon. In fact, here we go. Build a Lord Manor. Now, the Lord Manor, this is where you're going to start to get impressed with this game. So uh, where am I going to put my Lord Manor in? I think we've... They're, they're, they're doing a road across here, so I'm thinking that maybe we have the Lord's Manor up here. Or, I could put the Lord's Manor up, like, on the hill, up here. I've got to say, I quite, I quite like the idea of putting it up on the hill. So, go on, we'll do, we'll do the Lord's Manor up on the hill. Now, let's get rid of this. Let's pause the game for a sec. Because this is not just plopping down a building. Oh, no. This is where you can actually start getting creative. So, the Lord's Manor. Now, here we go. Uh, the Lord's Manor, uh, as with other advanced buildings, is actually something that you can put together from a whole bunch of different parts, right? So, we've got the, the Lord's House core, right? And you'll see that we need um, five stone, five planks, five tools to build this. And if I spin this around, like facing over this way, where am I going to put, where am I going to put this? Am I going to put, I, I might kind of put it right up on the hill. Yeah. So, I can put that in, and then I can left click on this, and make the building as tall or as small as I want it to be. So, let's make it, let's make it slightly imposing. This is the Lord's Manor. And then, now we need um, a door, and... It tells us we need a minimum of three parts to this building. Now, we can extend it later on. So, right now, I'm going to put this in. Now, the treasury, I'm at 500 of 500 with my gold. Um, I need to be able to store more gold. So, if I put in a treasury, which is a tower like this, and these will snap to the building right, in all kinds of different places. Um, I'm going to want this over here. So, let me put that in. And then bring that up. And for, for, for starters, I'm just going to put a couple of towers. Right, so let's have uh, that. I'm going to have another treasury going in here. Each treasury will increase the amount of gold that I can store. Uh, where is it? I see, the, uh, each one is five, an extra 500. So this will add a thousand pounds to our treasury capacity. So let's crank you up. About the same. About so. There we go. There we go. So um, for now, start the construction. Oh no! What, uh, I need to put a door on, don't I? Yeah, let's put a door on. That'd be a good idea. So let's have a door. Um, door on. There. Boom. One door. I need to get rid of this tree, don't I? Really? That'd be a good thing. You know what? Let's get. Um, where are we? Where's my extraction zone? I extend my extraction zone a bit. Um, do I want to get? You know, I might. I might just do that. There we go. Get rid of these trees in front of here. Okay, so now. Well, didn't want to do that. Put that back. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Stop moving things. Um, I wanted to say start construction. Now this is going to cost me. Uh, let's see. 175 stone, it's going to cost me 45 planks, 32 tools, right? Which is like quite a hell of a lot. Um, and it's because I, like, I've made the towers tall and all the rest of it. But, um, but it's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll manage, we'll, we'll be able to build it. So, you know, I guess let's put that over there. Um, I, I've no idea what estates are yet, but we'll, it'll, it'll, it'll come to... <laughs> be understood at some point later in the game's de development. Right, we've got enough gold that I can afford to build, um, let's see, I can afford to build, or, or rather buy, another one of these. So let's buy, let's buy this one down there. Cool. Right, go. 
And then we can extend our town a little bit. So let's start to extend our residential area down here. Cool. And when I've bought this one, then we'll extend it out here as well, which will be very nice. Okay, cool. Right, so uh, how are we doing? We have got 12 people in the village. Global happiness is up. Uh, oh, the lack of water's gone down from uh, minus 32. It's now only minus 18 now, and you can see it continuing to go down because um, because they're getting their water. They're building their houses nicely. Let's speed it up a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your villagers have re reached a new status. Surf. Yes, your villagers upgrade. They start off as... Um, <laughs> pause. Uh, they start off as newcomers. Uh, you know what, just, just, just have to have it on, on single screen. They start off as newcomers, and then they upgrade to serfs. And I'm assuming that later on they'll upgrade even further. And as that happens, um, we start to unlock more stuff. So, we've now unlocked a church, a farm, a windmill, a bakery, and a market where we can sell bread. And that, uh, oh, um, if we get four serfs, because we need one serf to unlock this stuff. When we get four serfs... Then we'll be able to have decorative trees and fences. And you can also put like great big walls around the place. Still a lot to come. Still a lot to come. And there's a bunch more stuff to be unlocked as well. Um, which I will, I will mention involves some sheep. Oh yeah. And, uh, and also one of them allows us um, to have a, a forester who will replant trees in designated areas. Oh yeah. But all of that is to come. So you know what? I'm going to leave it there for this episode. And I hope, I hope that I've given you kind of a little taster. Just a little taster of, uh, of what this game has in store. And I hope you'll come back for the next episode and see this manor, this manor house actually built. And eventually we're going to extend this out and make this much bigger. It's going to be like a freaking castle up here. It's got banners and decorative pieces and extensions and other towers and all kinds of stuff and the same applies to the church the church is another one that's got all kinds of bits and pieces so we're going to be getting creative building a big freaking church and basically the bigger it is the more people um, can fit inside it and you need um, to, to be supplying your uh, your people with with faith once you in fact have they no not yet they will start to have a need for faith but right now, everybody... Oh, yes, look, here we go. So now they're saying, you know what? Having, um, just having, having these three things, that's not enough. Now we're getting, we're getting demanding. We want bread. And they will get upset if they don't get bread. And we want, we want a church. We want to be able to fulfill our faith and go and pray in church. So I've got to build a church for them. So it all gets kind of interesting. So come back. For, I hope, really hope you'll come back for the next episode. Because um, um, I think you're going to enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you for the next one. Please, please leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about it so far. And I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.